auf. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Here it is, guys. The new Perfect Grade Unleashed is in the building, and I'm super excited. The box is not that big compared to the last few Perfect Grade boxes. I guess the Exia box was not necessarily that big either, but it seems like only slightly larger than the old Perfect Grade RX-782 box. A little bit thicker, maybe, but not all that much. It's got a cool handle here on the top. So in today's video, we're just going to be taking a look at the box and all of its contents. Then I'm going to be live building this guy. Probably not in one single live build. It'll probably take two live build sessions. So just make sure you're subscribed, follow, uh, hit the bell or whatever you need to do to make sure you don't miss the live streams. Also following me on my Facebook page and Instagram would be a good idea as well too because I post on there too before I go live so you won't miss the updates for that. So I'll be live building this as soon as all the parts and everything are ready. For the main build for just the review and the live build, I won't be using the photo etch parts and like the special 3D stickers because I'll save those for once the kit is actually painted. I'm going to be painting the kit right away. Uh, I am planning on doing this in the Gundam rollout colors, by the way. But that's all to come in the near future. For now, for today, I just want to go through the unboxing with you guys. This is just in and so it's a nice little Christmas present. Let's go ahead and have a look. And just a reminder to you guys too that this video and all of my content would not be possible without the amazing USA Gundam store. So do make sure you guys check the link down in the video description. At the moment, the kit is on the way to USA Gundam store, so they should have that in stock pretty soon. So you guys still can get your pre-order in for that. And don't forget to save yourself a little bit of money too by using the coupon code ZACHARILIUS10 to save 10% off the price of this and everything else there on the site as well too. So first of all, the front of this box art here is amazing. You got the Gundam there all exploded out so you can see all that internal structure detail and everything. You can see the photo edge parts and the lights in there in the chest and everything. It's got the LEDs lit up. It's just looking very cool. Definitely looking forward to someone actually building the kit up like this, like launching with all the parts like exploded out like that. Not what I'm planning on doing with mine, but I'm sure someone's going to do it. If they haven't started already but the graphic there on the front looks fantastic and the text up here in that nice silver looking very cool as well around here on the sides you've got basically the same thing and then on the top as well you've got a different image there with the gundam with the shield and everything's all put together on it but let's go ahead and check out the back this is where we got a lot more to see so here you got a big CG render of the completed build as well as the inner frame. I think that would be phase three in the construction. Over here you have a breakdown of the Gumpla Evolution Link system going from phase one, the basic inner frame, phase two to the kind of uh, more built up inner frame, phase three to the inner frame with all of the uh, silver truss sections all added on there and everything. Then phase four with just basically the completed build and then phase five with all the open hatches and everything so that's how i'm planning on displaying mine with open hatches maybe not all of them but at least a lot of the hatches open because i want to show off all that beautiful inner detail and everything down here you've got about your led gimmick with the four different color options for however you might want to select the colorway for the leds that's cool the beam saber with its light up handle and you plug that into the backpack to get the verniers in the backpack to line up as well you got some aluminum parts there for the Vulcans and the thruster bells there on the backpack. You've also got the photo etch parts in there as well as the 3D stickers, those red and green stickers that are going to go on there. You got the truss sections, the articulation of course, so I'm expecting nothing short of amazing articulation for this as well as the core fighter there and your pilot figures of Amro and Sela with the, to go with that. So you'll have a core block system that will be actually in the Gundam and the core fighter will be a separate thing on its own. So you've got that on the side, I think. And there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and get this open. The wait is over. It's finally here. If I can get it open. Yeah. Ooh, right off the bat, you can see those nice gold and silver plated parts there as well. Those are right on top to give you that nice wow factor as soon as you open the box up. So yeah, we've got silver plated parts as well as chrome plated parts, a little bit different, and gold plated parts, which look to be in a very dull, not very bright yellow gold. So I don't know if you prefer that or not, but we've got our pre-molded frame parts there, like the giant 160 scale version of the uh, RG frame kind of bits. That's what the thing that everyone's very concerned about. I'm confident that those will work just fine but we'll find out once we get the kit all built up, of course. Here's all of our extra stuff. Here we got stickers, unfortunately, and not water slides in this case. A big shame on that, as well as our photo edge parts, our foil stickers. Oh, those are the 3D stickers on there as well, too. And in here, we've got our LED unit, our metal parts, our beam saber handle there. No batteries included. You will need to buy the batteries on your own, so I gotta 
make sure I get those. And then uh, just kind of everything else. If we dig underneath here, we should be able to find a manual though as well too. Now, unfortunately gone are the days of the separate manuals with the PG where you have the one which is like the constru construction manual and one is the instruction manual where it just basically shows you like all the kind of behind the scenes stuff and some cool artwork and everything. They've got it all combined into one big book now, which I guess is kind of, I guess more convenient having it all as one thing. It's uh, very large though. This, let's see, is how many pages? Uh, about 70 pages in length. So just right here on the front, very cool. Just look at the Gundam there. And on the back, you've got kind of the artwork that's on the front of the box. Opening it up to the front pages here, you've got a cool like hanger shot with a bunch of text. The text there, by the way, is in Japanese and in English. So if you guys want to read that, I'll go ahead and zoom up. You can pause the video and read about that. It says, Ultimate Gunplas have been developed with the highest technology in each era. PG, perfect grade, continues to evolve, now taking the form of Unleashed. Unleashed freedom from shackles, the accumulation of development and evolution during 40 years of Gunpla history now reaches new heights. Yeah, you guys get the idea. On the next page, once again, just going over the Gunpla link system, showing the different stages of construction, and it is how you're going to build it, as I understand. You are actually gonna build it in different phases. So if you wanted to build like the full arm all at once, for example, that's not how the instructions are set up. You kind of have to build it up like this, and then it'll kind of go back over the all adding all these parts and then back adding all these parts but I guess we'll find out here in just a moment that's what I understand it to be anyway so I just talking about the faces down there again everything's in Japanese and in English very cool over here talking about some more of the gimmicks and stuff so just the light up effect here luminous you got the twin eyes the heat dissipation fins in the front and the beam saber so that's basically all it's gonna light up the eyes and the, like the head camera the front chest vents and the beam saber over here about the core block, the cockpit, the core fighter, you've got all of that in there as well too. Of course, the weapons, the beam saber and the beam rifle and the shield. No bazooka, unfortunately. I do not really like how much gold there is. I mean, obviously the camera on the beam rifle should be gold, but there's a lot of other gold on there, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep that much gold in my beam rifle. I don't know, maybe I'll like the look of it once I have it built up. Uh, disappointing that this didn't come with water slides and disappointing that it didn't come with a bazooka. Those are my kind of initial disappointments with the kit, but otherwise there's a lot to look forward to with this kit, so I'm certainly not uh, feeling down about it by any means. Interesting kind of new addition here to the parts list. It tells you to break apart the runner as certain sections. So like the B runner here will be B1, B2, and B3 will all be connected, but you're just meant to break those apart because they're meant to be used for different steps or different parts of the build apparently. Not really necessary, uh, I think, but if you want to just follow the instructions that's what's having you do with some of these runners, breaking them apart. Continued on to the next page, we've got more parts and you can see how these runners are all broken up. So interesting way they went about doing that. Uh -huh, and I guess that's just to help you to organize your runners uh, for each section. So here's how like the runners for phase one and two, you're gonna be using like G1 and P2, just parts for the head. So it's very organized uh, about how the parts are laid out for each step. So that's kind of very good. I guess if, you, if you're the kind of person that really likes to be very organized, uh, when you're building stuff, this is a good way to organize your runners. All the runners you'll need, all the parts for step one and two, you can set those up first. And all these runner parts that you'll need for step th uh, three and four. Obviously step five is just kind of opening everything back up again. So you don't need any runners particularly for that. So that's really interesting. So interesting kind of exploded view of the leg frame section there. You can see the, the pink section in the middle is the pre-built frame part, like the RG style frame, insert molded frame parts. And then these uh, like pink outlined parts are going to be uh, plated parts, like the plated silver or plated gold, whatever parts on there it looks like. So that's, it. that's just, again, kind of cool they did like that. All along the way, the little memos and everything is also in Japanese and in English. So you'll have just these little bits to make sure you're putting everything together properly. You don't need to worry about having to read any Japanese for that. And also something cool they're doing in the manual now is telling you once the runner should be done. So once you reach this point in the construction, it's that all the parts of the C3 runner have been removed, so you can go ahead and throw away that runner. That uh, empty runner should be all empty at this point in the construction. So that's just kind of a cool little tip there. I'm the kind of person that likes to chuck my runners as soon as all the parts are off of them. Not in the trash or anything, I mean I just like throw them across the room into a pile and then later pick them up and recycle them. But it's nice to have that little cue in there to let you know when you can do that while going through the construction. You've got stuff in here like this caution, do not forget to insert the uh, uh, highlighted parts there, those are like the polycap, the inner parts between like the main section of the hip uh, frame here. So it's giving, even giving you like this little like uh, highlighted reminder there not to forget to put in your 
polycaps and all that, that's pretty cute. So I gotta say, I mean, even just looking through the manual, it's cool to see how much, not only is the kit like a really great improvement just on the overall just Gumpla line, just being like a top of the line kit in general, but even the manual, they've done a lot to just really kind of spruce up the manual as well too, to make it very user friendly, very beginner friendly. Uh, for people who are maybe not built a lot of kits before, you've got all these little hints and like reminders along the way uh, within the manual, so very easy uh, to kind of see. So even like PGs, some people I think like uh, beginners kind of see PGs as being a little bit more difficult kits just because of their size and the number of parts. But man, Bendai really does a good job with this one to make it very user friendly, I think, with everything that you've got in the manual. So as long as you're following the manual carefully and, you know, reading all the little bits along the way, uh, they're really taking good care of you here, it looks like. So we're just kind of continuing on here. There's just a lot of construction. Here we're finally to phase five, the option weapons. We're building the beam rifle and the shield, and all of that, the core fighter as well too. Uh, different hand options. You've got all your hands and just how to mount the weapons and equip them. So of course you can mount the shield to the backpack, the beam rifle to the back skirt, all that good stuff. How to open all the hatches here. So you've got your guide for that, how all the hatches open up all around the Gundam. Uh, how to install the LED unit. So you got a guide for how to install that, but that basically will be helpful for when you need to change the batteries or something like that, how to turn it on and off, and like that as well too. You also got a guide in here, which is gonna be your sequence for the LEDs as well too. So you can have that all handy uh, for how you're pressing the buttons, how the LED sequence is gonna go. We'll go over that in the review uh, in greater detail and just how to insert the batteries into the beam saber handle and all that. Then your guide here for the metallic 3D stickers on, around there. And what about the guide for the rest of the stickers? Maybe that's uh, more towards the end, more towards the end here. So now we have another photography section now here at the back. And oh, I forgot that this also has uh, magnets. Yeah, it's now also using magnets for attaching onto the shield as well too, for a little bit extra stability. Uh, so just the end here, it's got the full hatch open. Just talking about once again the metal parts, etching parts, the metal 3D stickers, the plated parts. So again, it's just kind of. Uh, talking about all the features and everything. The insert molded skeleton for the articulation over here. Just more photographs of that. Well, not photographs. These are all still 3D renders. So no actual photographs of the kit in here in the manual. It's all just 3D renders, which is interesting that they don't have any actual photographs. That's kind of odd or unusual. Finally, at the very back here, we've got the marking guide and the color guide. So the color guide over here, once again, is all in Japanese and in English for both the Gundam, Amro Ray, and Sela Mass. And all the colors for that and then the marking guy where all the sticker markings are gonna go So I won't be using the sticker markings on this I'll throw a few on there uh, just for the review to show you guys how those are gonna look obviously on the painted build I'll be using water slides instead So probably will not be using like uh, or won't be even trying to get my hands on like a basically a water slide version of the sticker sheet. I'll just go for something else. I think probably I don't necessarily like some of the decal designs for this kit, but Anyway, that is it for the manual. Now let's check out all the runners. But first, a closer look at all of our stuff here. So here is just the regular foil stickers. It looks like basically a couple red ones for the head cameras, gold ones there for the eyes, and these mirror ones, which I guess will probably go behind the plastic part for the eyes, and the black one, which will be for just blocking the light on some part to help channel the light up through the head probably for that. And here's our metal 3D stickers. So this is in a very thick sort of like a plastic sticker kind of thing. So that these will add uh, some nice depth to them. So it won't just look like a regular foil sticker. It'll actually have a, like a little bit of clear depth into it. So it seems like basically just like a regular foil sticker with just a layer of soft um, rubber kind of plastic on top of it. And once again, all of our marking stickers. Now, again, pretty disappointed that this is not water slides for a kit that's coming with LEDs and photo etch and all this other sort of stuff. You'd think it would come with some water slides as well too, but I understand, again, it does seem like this kit, they're trying to make it like very advanced while also still being very beginner friendly. And obviously stickers are a little bit more beginner friendly than water slide decals, unfortunately. What really would have been great is if they would have given you both. I don't really see why they couldn't have done that for especially a big, expensive, new, fancy kit. Hmm but unfortunately. And for our LED unit here in black, looks to basically be the same one that's used for the different figure eyes kits. I'm especially familiar with this, using it with the figure eyes Ultraman kits, the same kind of design used for that. So just got a button there on the back of it. And then this little bag here is the parts for your beam saber, which will be the beam saber that you put the battery into that is gonna light up. You also have this little part here on the Y runner, which is just a little key for pushing the button to turn on the LED unit inside there. And we also have this one battery included in here. Now I was under the impression that this was 
was not going to be including any batteries because I think you're not supposed to be able to send batteries uh, internationally as far as I know, like in the mail. I've had packages come back because I forgot something had a battery in it and so I don't know, I guess whatever the case is, this one is small enough. So you don't have to buy this battery separately, I guess that's included for the beam saber. You'll just have to buy the little batteries here for the LED unit there in the body. Here are our metal parts. The metal vernier parts on the backpack are in a kind of like very dark metallic blue, which is kind of interesting. And then the Vulcans for the head, obviously they're in a kind of uh, polish kind of gold look there it looks really cool you have these other kind of little like a little cup parts and here we have our photo edge parts so as far as i know this is the first time bandai has ever included any photo edge parts in any gundam model kit other model kits too i think this might be a first but definitely with gundam this is definitely a first as far as i know so that's pretty cool and they're also the kind of photo edge that are just peel off they don't have any gates on them so you don't have to worry about cutting and filing uh, any gates on your photo edge parts which is very convenient as well too so again very beginner friendly all you have to do is peel and stick and i believe these also have like adhesive on this uh, green part there so you don't even need to glue them they just should just stick onto the part uh, stick onto your plastic part just right away without even having to use super glue all right then we have our beam saber effects here also this is actually runner z technically but these are this the same beam saber effect parts in 160 scale we've had since the original pg all the way back in the year 2000 so nothing new about these but these just uh, here in clear pink and then we've got MSF1 and MSF2 for our pre-molded joint parts, the insert molded parts here. As you can see, it's in two-tone gray, dark and kind of medium gray here for those parts. And it's very similar to what you're used to seeing with an RG kit, just in a very large scale this time. All right, now getting into the real meat of it, runners A1 and A2 are connected. These are in a very dark gray ABS plastic for some frame parts here, obviously. And then runners B1, B2, and B3. And again, all the runners are uh, designed in a way to basically kind of go in order. So our first few runners are all just gonna be all for the inner frame. This one as well is in the same color ABS plastic. Here is runners C1 and C3. And then we also have this one, which is C2 and C3. So this top part there, I guess is uh, runner C2. For some reason, they don't have the label on this one. This side part over here is C3 and this part down here is C1. So again, you will have to cut these uh, or they should just be able to snap apart there pretty easily to break them up into different sections. Runner D here, just more of the same. So going to be a lot of ABS here for the inner frame of this kit, whether you like that or not, that's what you got here. There is a lot of detail on there, of course, so it's gonna look very nice once it's painted up. Runners E1 and E2, now we're into just regular PS polystyrene plastic in just kind of a medium gray color here. Still more parts for the inner frame. Same thing here for runner F1 and F2 as well some really nice detail on those parts and we've got two of the f1 and f2 runners runners g1 and g2 are now getting into the runner which you would typically expect to see first as your a runner is the four color runner here we got some more dark gray over here on the side some yellow some clear red and some clear yellow down here at the bottom Runner H is also in three colors here. We got some dark blue through the center, some like kind of normal royal blue across the top and the bottom, and then some more yellow here on the side. And this yellow is a slightly different color of yellow. So the blues, you're gonna have multiple tones of blue, multiple tones of red, and it looks like multiple tones of yellow as well. It's gonna be a little bit hard to tell, but the yellow here on the G runner is just kind of straight up yellow. This yellow here on the H runner is a little bit kind of orange yellow. So you will have some nice color tones there. Runner I is now getting into some of our white armor pieces here. And we've got two of this I1 runner. We got some more white armor here on runner J1, and then we've also got runner J2, which is a copy of this section of the runner here. And then runners K1, K2, K3, K4, and K5 are all here molded together. We got our pilot figures on here seated for in the core fighter and also your standing pilot figures, as well as just a bunch more white armor pieces there. Runners L1 and L3 for some more white armor here. And then we've also got this one, which is runner L2 and L4 kind of a copy of the runner minus those couple of parts there. Now this is in white, but it's a slightly off-white. So this is gonna be a little slightly bit different from the white that we saw on the previous runners. So it's gonna be your typical kind of like what you would expect to see on an RG where you have multiple tones of white in there as well too. And then we have runners M1, M2, M3, and M4 here, which are also in our off-white color for the rest of our white armor parts. And then runners N1, N2, N3, N4, and N5 are all here on this one runner. So you'll have a lot of breaking up to do for this one. This is getting into our red parts. It's also a good time for me to point out to you guys that I forgot to point this out so far, is that each of the sections has a little label on it as to which body part that's for. So N1, for example, is here for the body, as you can see. Uh, this section is here just for the skirt section. 
over here and four, this is for the leg section. So they've done this before with the mega size kits, but this is the first time that I've ever seen this done on something that's not a mega size kit. So that'll also make it very easy for you. Once you're looking at the runners, you can tell exactly which which section of the build this part goes to just by checking the little, little picture pictograph there. The runners 01, 02, and 03 here are in a secondary tone of red. This is a darker color of red than what we saw before. Obviously some parts there for the feet and the core fighter. The runners P1 and P2 are here in just plain clear for where basically some of the LED light is going to be going through on the chest, the canopy there for the core fighter, these parts which will go into the backpack which will again go to help uh, feed the light from the beams that were handled down into the verniers for the backpack like that for example. And then runner P3 is our big red part for the shield and a couple other little piston parts. This is in the main red color, the lighter of the two red colors for this one. Runners Q1 and Q2 are now back to some more dark gray ABS plastic for obviously a big part there in the shield and it looks like probably over here for the core fighter there as well. And there are here obviously parts for the hands. So this is uh, back to just regular polystyrene plastic and this is in a dark gunmetal kind of color for these. Some people are upset that this kit doesn't come with the, our fully articulated hands. They don't feel that it's a, a, a PG without the fully articulated hands. Personally, I like fixed pose hands so I'm very happy with this. I think these hands look great. Uh, but if you do prefer the fully articulated ones, you are a little bit out of luck with this one, unfortunately. All right, the runners S1, S2, S3, and S4 here are getting into some of the truss parts. This is in the plated silver, and it looks very nice, so those are looking very cool. Then runners T1, T3, T4, and T5 here are in a just molded silver, so it's going to be a little bit different. Just to compare the two, here you can see the plated silver to just the molded, kind of a little bit darker silver here for this and then we also have this runner here which is T2, T3, T4, and T5 so just a copy of this section of the runner there like that so just the mix of these on there is going to look really nice. And we got uh, U1, U2, and U3 here in black parts for the back of the hands as well as some parts for the core fighter there and some weapons parts there for the beam rifle as well too. And then a V1 runner here is our gold one. Now like I said it's in a pretty pale uh, gold color but it is in this nice plated gold and we do also have runner V2 to be this section of the runner up here but obviously that is not in plated gold it's just in regular kind of medium gray for basically the handle part there for the beam rifle. The runner W here is our chrome plated runner so you can see we've got some pistons on there but mostly the interior parts of the hand so when you put the regular dark color plastic parts around these hand parts you'll have all these little bits of chrome poking out there on the hand which will look pretty nice. So those are looking very cool. Then runners X1 and X2. Runner X1 here is another insert molded part with our piece there for the shield connection. And you can see our magnet is in there. And then runner X2 is our polycaps for the kit. So you got a couple of polycaps here in just regular gray. Now the interesting thing about this, that the magnet is just molded already right into that. So you don't have to worry about inserting the magnet, I guess. And these parts that we saw before, just to clarify what these are, these are the metal parts that are gonna be going in the forearm that will be used to connect here to the magnet. So there's the pretty strong connection there for those. It feels pretty good, so that's not too bad. And so there you have it guys, a whole lot of stuff in that box. You can see just why this kit is so expensive, but you can also see just why this kit is going to be very, very nice. It's gonna be really awesome to have such a expansive and elaborate and super detailed kit and the use of the LEDs and the metal parts and the photo etch parts, this kind of stuff that's like really premium that you just don't really see. I mean, Gundam model kits in general are fantastic. Bandai does a really fantastic job with them, but to have all that stuff included for this kit just makes it even nicer. So it's gonna be an awesome build, gonna be very fun. Again, I'll be doing it live, so make sure you guys stay tuned to watch the live stream builds of this. After going through everything here, I'm not sure it might actually take three sessions of live building instead of two to get through everything but we'll see how it goes anyway thank you guys all so much for watching do remember to like comment subscribe all that stuff is greatly appreciated thank you guys so much for your support and until next time i'll see y'all later have a good day bye guys